Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. It is about 6.25 a.m. I just pulled into my WW workshop and wanted to come on, say hi, let you know that I am here with bells on as usual on Friday morning. So let's talk a little bit about this last week. As you know that I had a blue dot challenge. I not only gave myself a blue dot challenge, but I also went on to my Facebook page. And if you haven't joined my Facebook group, I'll go ahead and put that here on the screen as well as link that down into the description box below. So if you haven't joined my Facebook group, I highly encourage you to do so. But I went ahead and put out an entire blue dot challenge for everybody on my Facebook group, including myself, to get at least five to six blue dots this last week. I knew that I wasn't going to get a blue dot on Saturday because that's the day that I use my weeklies. So I knew that there was no way that I was going to be in a blue dot range. But I actually was able to get a blue dot every other day this last week. So Friday and then Sunday through Thursday. Super proud of myself for that. And let me tell you, it was a little bit of a challenge. I was extra, extra hungry this last week. I don't know why. We had brownies at work. We had cookies at work. And in fact, we even had jelly belly jelly beans at work. So yes, when I say that it was a little bit of a challenge, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I was able to stay the course. I did actually have some jelly belly beans yesterday. I had about 20 of them but I tracked them as four points, put them into my tracker, and I still ended up with a blue dot yesterday. So, sorry for my voice. I'm still super hoarse. I don't know what is going on. It's been weeks now. And I haven't had anything to drink because I'm gonna go way in. So, sorry about that. But, jelly belly. So yes, I tracked them, no problem. As long as I tracked them, I didn't feel bad about it. So all week I've been on and off the scale, not as much as normal, but every day that I've been weighing myself with the exception of Wednesday. Wednesday I was like up two pounds all of a sudden, but then when I weighed myself yesterday, I was back down. So I actually had a really good week. I expected to have a loss this week. I woke up this morning and guess what has arrived? You guessed it, Shark Week. That would explain entirely why I've been so hungry all week long. So, Shark Week has arrived as of today. It couldn't be any worse timing ever. So, I don't know how that's going to affect when I get on the scale. I usually am up pretty substantial the first two to three days of Shark Week. So, I'm hoping that because it literally just started today that I'm going to escape that and that I won't be up when I get on the scale and I'm still going to show a loss. But it is so frustrating when you have done so well all week, you've tracked, you've gotten a blue dot if you don't lose when you get on the scale. But I know if that is what actually happens, that it wasn't me, that it was because mother nature hates me, legit hates my life. So I'm hoping that when I get on the scale, that doesn't negatively affect me, but we shall see. So how was your week? I want to hear how your guys' week went. When I get out of my workshop, I will be back to share with you what was discussed as well as my weigh-in. So cross your fingers that Mother Nature and the scale are kind to me. So I just got out of my WW workshop. It was a fantastic workshop as always. It always inspires me and gets me excited for the next week every single Friday morning. So today was a great topic. We talked a little bit about mindfulness and being present in the moment. So I don't know if you guys knew, but in your WW app, those of you that either are online members or go to the actual workshops, there is a part of your app that involves a company called Headspace. And Headspace is a wellness, a meditation portion of the WW app. So basically, it is free for those of us that pay for Weight Watchers. It is a place that you can go and get one to three to five minute meditation pieces in the morning, during the day. They have one specifically designed for you to do right before bed, but they are just a way to 
be calm and clear your head and focus on the day or clear your head before you go to bed so that you sleep soundly. And it's free. Weight Watchers gives that to us for free on our WW app. So we talked a little bit about using Headspace, taking advantage of that portion of the app, making sure that you're hopping on there in the morning before you start your day. One minute. We all have one, we all have one to five minutes to spare, whether it's while we're getting ready, while we're warming up our car for the day, whatever that may be, we all have a few minutes to spare in the morning. And it's a really good way to set your head straight and right for the upcoming day. During the day, if you feel yourself being stressed out or you're just having a rough day, go on to Headspace, do a little bit of small meditation, clear your head, give yourself a chance to relax for a few minutes. And oftentimes that can completely change the course of our day. And most importantly, before you go to bed, I do this all the time where I go to bed and my mind races. It races about WW, food, work, what I have to do the next day. I'm pretty high strung when it comes to those types of things. Very organized um, to the point of being anally organized. I'm a major planner. So my head feels like it's always racing. And to take a moment and do a little bit of meditation before bed is huge. It can clear your head and you can definitely make it so that you sleep a lot more sound. Another thing is, is to being in the moment and be mindful when you're eating. How many times do you sit down in front of the TV and eat dinner? How many times do you eat dinner in front of your desk at work? That's me. And you don't even pay attention. You don't even know what you ate. You don't enjoy it. You don't savor it. You just shovel the food into your mouth to get done and move on with your day. How many times do you eat popcorn or snacks in front of the TV at night? These are all things that we do mindlessly. We're not thinking about the food that we're putting into our mouth. We're not enjoying it. We're consuming calories. We're consuming points. And we're not even taking time to savor or enjoy those points and calories. So my goal for this next week and my suggestion to you would be to really be mindful when you're eating. Be in the moment, be present, think about the foods you're eating, slow down, put your fork down between meals. Again, over here, a fast eater. Take a second, put your fork down, really savor and enjoy your food rather than just shoveling it into your mouth to move on to the next part of your day. So that is my goal for this week. And that is part of being mindful and being present and being in the moment. WW suggests that you really just think about what you're doing. Enjoy your company of your dinner. It doesn't always have to revolve around food, but a lot of times we go out to dinner, out to drinks, out to breakfast with family and friends. Take some time, enjoy your company, take a bite here and there. Again, put your fork down. Really think about what you're doing and be mindful when you're eating. Our food is to fuel our body. We should not live to eat, but eat to live. And a lot of times we live to eat. We do it so mindlessness and we just throw the food down our throat that we don't really savor and enjoy it. So that is my goal for the week. And I suggest that maybe you think about that as being a goal for your for this week is to just be more mindful when you're eating, mindful of your company when you're eating, and also take advantage of using Headspace in the app. So I loved the workshop topic. I thought it was great. I thought it was something that everyone on WW and not even on WW can implement into your life to be a little bit more in tune and be present in the moment rather than thinking about the past and definitely rather than thinking about the upcoming present and all the things you have to do. So let's talk about what happened when I hopped on the scale. Was Mother Nature nice to me? Was the scale nice to me? Or do I hate them today? I don't actually hate anybody, but do I dislike them today? So when I hopped on the scale, like I mentioned, actually, prior to going into my workshop, I had a great week, six blue dots, did pretty darn good food wise, but I started Shark Week today, of course. So when I hopped on the scale today, I have lost point four. Now, two things. One, I'm grateful for a loss. I'm always, 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 always grateful for a loss. And two, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. I could have gained like I thought that was potentially going to happen just due to being a girl and having that water weight, that bloat. But on the other hand, I'm a little disappointed to be completely transparent and honest with you guys about only losing 0.4. I feel like with the week I had, I should have at least lost a pound to a pound and a half. Now, if I think about mother nature, it makes a little bit more sense to me. And like I told my, uh, what are the Weight Watchers, the person who weighs you in, I can never remember their new names, guide, Weight Watcher guide, WW guide. Like I told her, I'm hoping that it catches up next week. I should be 
by Friday at the tail end of Shark Week. And hopefully the hard work that I put in this last week and that I'm planning on, of course, doing again this week will help me get a little bit closer to that 25 pounds. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at a calendar, but I think it may be my last weigh in for April. So again, it's not looking so great, but I'm happy that I lost. I wish it would have been more but I'm happy that I lost. And it's not all about the end of the goal, your end goal, the end of the race. It's about your journey getting there. Has it taken me longer than I wanted on this journey to lose the 21.4 pounds that I've lost? Of course. Absolutely. I feel like I should be twice that at this point in my journey. But have I been the best Weight Watcher ever? No. Have I struggled? Yes. Has there been things in life that have derailed me? Yes. But that's life. And I'm all about the journey. I love WW. If it takes me a year to lose 50 pounds, it takes me a year to lose 50 pounds. And how I'm going to look at it is I could end this year at the same weight or heavier, or I could end this year at 50, 60, 70, whatever it ends up being pounds lost. So I'm taking it as a win. I'm happy that I lost 0.4. And again, I'm looking forward to next week. I'm hoping that this last week's good eating and this upcoming week, because it's going to be another great week for me, is really going to show on the scale next week. So I'll take it. I'll take the 0.4 and I'll run with it. So that was my way in. I want to know down in the comments below, how did your week go? Do you feel like you, what the work you put in for this last week, do you feel that that showed on the scale? Did you gain? Did you lose? What's your plan for this next week? Are you going to take advantage of Headspace? Are you going to be a little more mindful and be a little more present in the moment when you're eating and um, just in life in general for this next week? So I'm going to include a clip at the end here of the recipe on the back of the weekly. It's a three-point recipe. It sounds super good. So I'll go ahead and include a photo of that. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome. Hey, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. That way you'll get a notify notification every single time that I upload a new video. That way you're not missing out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And again, comment below. Let me know how your guys' week went. What were your wins? What were your losses? What do you want to do better next week? And of course, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a fantastic Friday. Bye. <music>